Well, we're raw talk here. I've got one of my actually dearest friends in Hong Kong, Mr. Tennille Chu. And uh, otherwise known as Mr. T. You like people to call you Mr. T, right? Well, T or Tennille is fine. Sometimes they find the name Tennille is quite unusual, so T is a short form. So, yes. you know, I'm going to get right into it. You graduated in Toronto, right? That's right. And right. you went, was a was business economics? Economics. Right. right. And then mm -hmm. after that, you, this I, was before, was this at the same time? Because you, your father left a big legacy. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Dr. David Chu, right? Sure. And, uh, and, and that was initially just mm -hmm. about golf, the like golf courses. That's right. Correct. Mm -hmm. And you, but you hadn't gone mm -hmm. off to do the golf part of your education yet. Or well, after my university degree, my undergrad at University of Toronto, yeah. I went to further study a professional golf management degree in Canada as well, right. and where I further study for another additional year just to learn about the industry. Right. But I didn't actually have any practical experience, so I had the opportunity to apply and work for the PGA Tour down in Ponte Vedra in Florida, where I actually have the hands-on experience to learn the inside of the industry work. So I worked from literally from the golf course maintenance to golf operational to championship management, running the PGA Tour events. That's where I had the most hands-on experience. And was that time that you were educating in golf simultaneous as Mission Hills was building the first mm. you know, Senjen golf clubs or Senjen had already been completed. The Senjen, sure. not Dong Guan, but Senjen. Well, back in 92, yeah. and that's where Mission Hills started. Right. And we completed our first golf course in 94. And then we hosted the first ever international golf tournament in China right. back in 95 World Cup. And then, ever, and then afterwards, I continued my studies. And then I further, I knew that I really wanted to get into the industry. I just didn't want it to come back because of family business, but I wanted to equip myself with all the skill sets so I, that I can be really contributing into the in industry and the family business. All right. And so what about, you know, I've, got, I've got to ask because Tiger is, is, mm. is trying to uh, sort his physical sure. issues out because he's mm. played so aggressively from a young age and I know he's been at, uh, sure. at your place quite a few times. Yes, do, you, yes. do you guys keep in touch? Do you, oh. Are you going to have him back? You're talking about any, well, absolutely. any events with, uh, mm -hmm. with the great Tiger Woods? Well, Tiger, you know, he definitely changed the game of golf he did. and made it so much more youthful and accessible to many uh, golf enthusiasts mm -hmm. and juniors development. I still recall the first time when he invited was in, back in 2001. That's right after September 11, mm -hmm. when the first time he left the U.S. to come to China. Right. And up to today, that was one of the most historical moments of golf turning point of the golfing history for China. So you're doing, uh, but you're doing uh, something with uh, some big teams well, like Manchester United. I've heard well, of actually, we're working with the FC Barcelona right ah, now. FC Barcelona. Well, we first work with the China Football Association, where we created the Southern Football Headquarter for the right. national team, for the male, female, and all the ranges of teams to be trained at Mission Hills. At the same time, we partner together with FC Barcelona. They are very gracious in giving uh, their support to help grow globalized football development. So we'll be doing a football museum together with them, together with a mega shop and even a Spanish tapas restaurant, right. along with a huge uh, full-scale academy. Hopefully we can find the next Messi and Neymar and our PKs of China or Asia to, to be developed here with us. Yeah. So apart from football, we also have expanded with basketball. That's why we invited the Golden State Warrior and also back in September invited Kobe's first visit to Hainan right. where we announced in world news of our collaboration with NBA to create the first ever NBA full-scale academy plus NBA museum and mega shop so that helps to promote the next Yao Ming's and the next Kobe's right. of China. So we're very excited to have the major sports uh, development together. And previously we worked with Boris Becker as well mm -hmm. to create the first ever Boris Becker Tennis Academy where he was the previous coach of Djokovic, 
So right. hopefully we can create much more sporting talents in all the different disciplines of sports. Amazing.